souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the, the feast of St. Augustine, Zhao Rong, and companions who were uh, Chinese martyrs. So let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs, St. Augustine Chow and companions, Grant that your people, faithful to the mission entrusted to it, may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before, your, before the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. to the barrel and burning incense to the idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to work, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human force and bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, God, yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know what I was their healer. My heart is overwhelming, my pity is there. I will not give vent to my pleasing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not human, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The war of the Lord. The response to our is, Let us see your face, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, O Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken, from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rose your power. Let us see your face, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, Look down from heaven and see. Take care of this man and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself may strong. Let us see your face, O Lord, and we shall be saved. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic. 
or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a person within it. Look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more, more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Gospel today, Jesus sends out his twelve disciples into the countryside to announce the, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and to proclaim to others the ways in which their lives have been forever changed by the person of Jesus Christ. And in many ways, we're called to do the same thing, proclaiming to others that God loves them and that the transforming truth that he suffered and died for our sins and that each human life is infinitely valuable because God paid an infinite price to save us. And today we particularly honor the memory of St. Augustine Zhao Rong, uh, who was a priest, uh, who was a, a man in China who converted to Christianity and uh, became a priest and was martyred for his faith. And his 119 companions and this includes 87 native Chinese Catholics and 33 Western missionaries who were martyred across a, a, lot, a wide range of time from the mid 17th century to the mid 20th century, who were martyred either for their ministry or for their refusal to abandon the Catholic faith. And many of these men and women died in the Boxer Rebellion in which anti-colonial peasant rebels uh, slaughtered 30,000 Chinese converts to Christianity, along with uh, the missionaries and other foreigners. So today we pray for the, the Christians in China who are still being persecuted today, and we ask that these great martyrs, these great saints, teach us courage and perseverance, and that we also may learn to fearlessly proclaim the gospel to others, both in season and out of season. Today's Mass is offered for Robert Umholtz and George M. Preston. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be to God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray that Lord accept the sacrifices of Jesus, for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and for the hope of the church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Augustine, Zhao Rong, and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives.